hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. It's that time again, isn't it? <laughs> you know what time that is, don't you? Hey, weapon of the week. Ho ho ho! Weapon of the week! Ho ho ho! There's only one weapon this week, isn't there? You know what that is, don't we? Bing! Coogan Cassius. Coogan. I've had to put your weapon at wheat, Coogan, for a simple reason. You've been behaving like a total and utter weapon. Nobody's saying that you're probably not the best interviewer out there, because you are, but you're having narratives put on you. You're pushing other people's narratives. I'm not going to tell you how to do your job, but I think you're being used as a pawn in boxing Coogan you're pushing people's narratives and you're not thinking I don't think you're thinking correctly I've just seen that podcast you've just done about Joshua and Fury Fury Joshua look you've been around boxing long enough Coogan to know that there's more obstacles in front of Fury Joshua or Joshua Fury than there is on It's a Knockout and Gladiators with John Fashino and Eureka Put together, you've got Bulef and Bob Arum, Wilder fight, and Al Eamon. There's all these things involved. There's the WBO with that Paco Varsel, who, who's in president at WBO. There's Dillian White issue with, with WBC manager. There's all these in all this involved, and all these obstacles involved, and yet you're putting it out there and going on how can you be impartial Coogan when you're going on podcasts and helping push it I mean who are you working for is it Sky is it Matchroom is it IFL is it BT is it is it oh who are you working for is it which who are you? oh I mean there's double agents and then there's which way up I mean I, I'm confused. I watch IFL, I subscribe to IFL, but I think you've lost your way a bit, Coogan, and this is why this, this week, has shown to me that you, you, you're being dragged about all over trying to be everybody's mate. Stay in your lane and give us, give us what we want. We want content. We don't want you pushing stuff that you know is rubbish. We want content, mate. That's what we want. And you're going off key now and you're trying to keep people happy and I don't see it ending good, but I wish you well. You've got my number, Coogan. Pick up the phone. You're still on top of your game as regards interviews, but you've been a weapon this week, so... You've won Weapon of the Week, Coogan. I believe this is the first time, so Weapon of the Week... Is it episode 19? I'm not sure. Coogan Cassius, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing, Coogan. Don't have nightmares.
<laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.